My name is Colleen Wolpert and I'm an artist. I work with photography, video, interactive installations and performance. I've been looking at visual perception and how we perceive the world around us. So the interact interactive installations that I do are oftentimes things that you would turn like old film projectors and movie editors, things that reference the history of, of film and photography. I think it's important to open our minds to new perspectives and maybe I have something to offer that somebody else doesn't. And I think everybody has a story to tell. And we all have a unique perspective. Stereographs enjoyed the longest history of any photographic format from 1850 to 1930. Here's a stereograph image and it's two images that are nearly identical but they're two different perspectives. My twin sister actually can't see in three dimensions. She has a visual impairment. And I became interested in depth perception and how the eyes work, binocular vision and things like that. A lot of these images, you see them in 3D and you're able to travel back through time and feel like you're really there. It brings history to life. Uh, Syracuse is really important in the history of early cinema. A lot of people don't know that the mutoscope was invented here and the biograph camera and that Edison's chief competitors were these guys who lived here in the New West Side, these inventors of the mutoscope and biograph camera. And so that's all integrated into work that I'm doing. Um, I'm also developing this optical device, the twin scope that I started here. And there's a lot of resources that I found in Syracuse and like right next door, my next door neighbor is helping me like with the rubber casting of this. And then the, the lumber for this is from a local tree on Onondaga Boulevard. And so it's like, I want to, I believe I can make art right in my neighborhood with what I have on hand, but also with the people and resources that are right around. And I don't know anywhere else that I can do that, but like this block right here in Syracuse, and that's why I'm back.